Hey everyone, it's Shannon. I know you haven't seen me in a while, and of course, I'm coming at you looking like crap, but you're used to this by now. Um, I haven't made a video in a few days. I've been going through some serious, serious family problems that I can't talk about for legal reasons, even though I would love to share with you guys because I share everything, but anyways, that's me here and there. We're not talking about bad news right now. I had to get on quick and make just a quick, quick daily vlog. Today is June 24th, it is 11 p.m., and, shoot, was the record, yeah, hold on, I know you can't see me right now because I got the camera, wait, yes you can, wow, I'm an idiot, I know that just made no sense, but I'm using my laptop camera, and my dumb ass thought that if I couldn't see myself on the screen, you guys couldn't see me on the screen, but I just realized you guys can see me on the screen, so, the reason that I am getting on here quick is because it is 11.01 p.m. on June 24th, and 17 minutes ago, New York passed gay marriage rights. About time, New York. About time. I'm not gay, and obviously, as you guys know, happily married. However, I have many, many gay friends and many gay family members, and I know the hurt of not being able to marry the one you love. And I've always been for gay marriages since I can remember, like, literally little, barely knowing what it meant, but I didn't think it was wrong. I've always, always been a huge supporter in the gay community. I go to all pride events. I go to anything. I give my full support and never let them feel like they're any less important because they're not. Everybody, everybody is equal. I don't give a damn if you're gay, straight, bisexual, black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever. We're all equal, so stop the hatred, seriously. This is like a big day in history now. And of course, on Facebook and Twitter, on Twitter, Twitter's blowing up. Everybody's so excited. Even people who aren't New Yorkers are excited for us New Yorkers. Now, on Facebook, it's a whole other story. I have people posting, saying, oh, great, it's just a tax write off. I have people posting and saying, oh, why don't you just let them do whatever they want, legalize drugs while you're at it. Like, I have people really reacting negative, then I have people acting happy, which is great. And I posted a post, and I said, keep your negativity to yourself, because we don't want to hear your negativity. It's bullshit. Like, seriously, can't they be happy for one day, because this is a big deal in history. And, like, when I first read it, I cried. <laughs> I was so, so, so excited, because... Ugh, they should be equal. They've always been equal. And it's like, it's ridiculous that just because you're gay or bisexual, you have to feel like you don't fit in. Like, I've been bisexual my whole life. But obviously, I'm married to a man now. But still, I still know what it's like to not feel like you can come out to your family. Because a lot of my family still doesn't even know that about me. So, it's, it's tough. So, Hopefully, hopefully, this is one step closer to people feeling that they can come out to their family. Like, the older people, obviously, they're going to get married to their partners, finally. People that have been partners for 40 years can finally get married. But, teenagers who are scared to come out, they can now come, hopefully feel a little better because it's a little more accepted now, they feel like. It's sad that you have to rely on laws and things like that to make you feel accepted, but it's the truth, sadly. I have a cousin who's, oh my god, this is bad, I don't know his age, sorry, he's my second cousin. He's 14, 14, openly gay, and he has a boyfriend, and I actually know him, like, since he was, like, three, just little things, and I was just like, he's gonna be gay, and his mom was like, no, 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 he's not, and she didn't want to accept it. And then he came out this year. He came out a few months ago. And still, a lot of family didn't want to accept it. Me and his aunt and a couple other people are standing by his side. But a lot of them aren't accepting it. And it's just, like, it's sad. But I encourage him every day. I'm so, so proud of him for not being scared of who he is. Because a lot of kids his age that are gay or bisexual are too scared to come out. And it leads to freaking depression, it leads to suicide, it leads to so many other things. And if they do come out, they're afraid of the bullying, they're afraid of the neglect, they're afraid of all that stuff, and it's not right. 
it seriously needs to stop. But hopefully this will be one step closer to that. I know it's never going to be perfect. I wish in a perfect world that everybody treated everyone equal, but it's not going to happen. But don't be afraid to be who you are. There's always somebody out there that will support you. Yeah, there's always going to be someone that knocks you down, but there's always going to be somebody support that supports you. I get knocked down because we're an Italian, Puerto Rican, French family. So, like, they'll pick on you for anything. They'll harass you for anything. If you if you're gay and they harass you for being gay, if you were straight, they'd harass you because your teeth were yellow or your hair was brown. But they don't care. So don't let them get to you. And I'm so sorry this video is shitty quality, but like I said, it's my laptop camera. And it's also going to be very quick because I don't have much to talk about. This is just strictly a video to get on here and say congratulations New York for finally getting on board and legalizing gay marriage. And congratulations to all you people out there who are happily, openly gay and can't wait to marry your loved ones.